the call of Matthew. I would like us to reflect on the call of the call of discipleship. Child of God, according to the canon of the Catholic Church, Ibu Catechism, one or two Christians want to put in a baptizer. Or when I remember the end, we are cousins in the Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Now, what does that entail? It entails total surrendering to, to the will of God and letting go of your own will. Wakuma yasakata boshinderi abamakara boshinderi abamaka. Call to follow Jesus. Somebody shout, call to follow Jesus. Call to follow Jesus. This morning, I would like you to know that you are called to follow the Master Jesus. The Word of God said in Matthew eleven twenty eight, "Come to me, all you could labor and overburden, and I will give you rest." Call to follow Jesus. Call to follow Jesus. Call to follow Jesus. Now, when Christ saw Matthew, Matthew was a tax collector. And he looked at him and said, come on, come on, follow me. And Matthew said, what? Okay. He didn't give excuse. He arose from the tax office and followed him. In the eyes of men, that was sheer stupidity. But in the eyes of God, that was wisdom. Considering the position he occupied, he stayed to in the society. Matthew was not a poor man. Let me tell you the whole world today. A rich man decided to abandon everything and follow him. Oh my God. Now, one thing about Jesus Christ, whatever you sacrifice in the course of following him, you must get it to food. Take it from me for the monster. Take it from me for the monster he's telling you this morning. Anything you lost, anything you sacrifice in the course of following Christ, write it down. You must surely get those things hundred fold back. Are you not surprised that Matthew Halabakanda, who was a tax collector, even that day he didn't go with the daily money. He abandoned everything and followed him. And Christ rebranded his destiny. Your destiny cannot be rebranded if you will not let go and let God. And that is the summary of this message. The call of a disciple is letting go and letting God. St. Paul says in Philippians, those things that we are gained for me, for the purpose of gaining Christ, I have counted them as useless. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10, St. Paul says, that I may know you, Christ Jesus, the power of your resurrection, that I might share in the glory of your suffering. Now, whatever that represents that was gained for, for Paul, he counted as loss for the purpose of gaining Christ. My children, for you to be a disciple, you must let go and let God. Today, Matthew is a celebrity and the whole world is celebrating his brevity. Let me tell you, you cannot be celebrated without sacrifice. You cannot be celebrated without impact. There is no impact without effort. There is no impact without compact. That compact is your moment of world building. My children, the world is waiting for you. To see, to see, to see your impact. In Christ Jesus, we are conquerors. This morning, I am praying that Almighty God will give us the grace He gave to this man, brother, brother, brother Matthew, the task collector who was celebrated. <laughs> The task collector who later became a saint. I pray for the same grace of sainthood upon everybody hearing my voice this morning. I am praying that Almighty God will restore whatever you may have lost. Anointing for total restoration upon your life. May the good Lord restore your fortune before your very eyes. Let the wind of restoration locate you. This morning, for the most of you prophesying, whatever you have lost to this woman, look us. Your very oath we restore for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As a priest of God, I prophesy. I receive. Uncommon open door over your life. Amen. Uncommon open door over your family. Amen. Uncommon open door over your business. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Rika Rabaya Kadabosi Katabashinderia. 
Ragada boli gada baya kandro buskinde. Chado God, oh my yakara buskinde. And Goliath submitted. <laughs> that is our topic today. And Goliath surrendered. Our prayer topic for this guest morning hour. I am telling you, my children, every Goliath of your destiny must surrender. Can somebody shout a bigger amen? Amen. amen. And my mighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Offering time. Bless you, time. Viewers all over the world. As I raise my hand over your life, I pray for financial overflow. I pray for financial increase. May the good Lord 